How's it going everyone? John here. Welcome back to another Streamlabs OBS tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to use stream labels. Now if you are new to the channel or new to the series, you're wanting to learn how to stream, you're wanting to understand the technical side of things or how to grow a channel, be sure to go ahead and take a look at the other content on this channel and also take a look at the links inside the video description below. That way you can follow me on all my different networks. So for stream labels, this is something you guys have probably seen before where something is displaying up on the screen, either showing maybe like recent follower, recent donation, so on and so forth. So to set that up, what you're going to want to do is create your scene and then go over to the plus icon over by sources. And what we're going to be looking for is going to be stream label. Now, as you can see here, it gives you a little bit of an idea. So like I mentioned, it can have you do like followers, cheers, donations, the monthly follows, weekly donations, and so on and so forth. There's a lot of different stuff. So go ahead and click on that. We'll go on add source. We'll name it. And as you can see, this gives you a bunch of different stuff. So I already have something kind of already displaying. This is the all time top donation or donator or donor. So what you're going to want to do is kind of just go through these and figure out like which one you want to set up. And with Streamlabs OBS, it will pull that information based on the stuff that comes through. So whenever you're using like Streamlabs for alerts and stuff like that, it will populate that stuff too. So like if I was to go to, let me see if I can find it, most recent follower, it will change it for that. And you can adjust it to have different types of customization as well. So if you're wanting to change the font, you can use Google's font by clicking on the little box here and it will give you some extra fonts to choose from or you can use the ones that are already provided for you. And if you also bring in your own, like if you go to like defonts.com, you can bring those in too, and just make sure that they're inside of your fonts folder on Windows and stuff like that. And to get into that, you just simply search fonts on Windows 10, and you'll be able to find it there. But once you find font you want, you can go ahead and choose if you want it to be like italic, bold, and stuff like that. So you can customize that. You can customize the actual font size. And for text transform, if you want it to be upcase, lowercase, this is very similar to the text tool that I did in a previous video. So a lot of this stuff hasn't really changed. So everything is pretty much the same for how it was for the text tool. It's just the main thing is you got this right here. And this will update every single time someone goes and either follows or if you have subscribers and it'll do that for subscribers and stuff like that. And this will kind of change depending on like what you're streaming on. So some of the information might be a little different, but for the most part, it's it always going to be the same in terms of like followers and stuff like that. Now, if you're on like YouTube, then of course you have your your subscribers and stuff so that that'll be a little bit different and on twitch you have your followers you have you have your um, subscribers and stuff like that resubs and everything so you can kind of pull all of that information just by choosing whichever one you want for this and any of the ones that you have like let's say you want to have one for donations and you want to have one for followers you're gonna have to create multiple stream labels to be able to have it display different messages so it's not going to be able to display the same message like you're not going to be able to have just followers and then adding on to the same exact source so what i mean by that is if i want to follow, if i wanted to have the most recent follower i'll click done and then i'll go and create another stream label and then i will do I'll click on this little ticker here so you can add a new source, give it another name, and now I have the donation. So as you can see here, now I have two. So those two will change every time someone follows or if someone donates. That makes a little bit more sense, hopefully. But that is really just how stream labels work. It's a lot easier this way than how it was back on using like a browser source option. Now, if for some reason this doesn't work, you can use the browser source option and I'll show that to you guys in another video if you really want to know how to do that. But that would be more of something you have to do manually. And it's a little complicated to set up just because you have to be able to pull it from a text file and the text file has to be on your actual computer and you have to download the stream labels uh, kind of like application onto the computer that you're streaming off of 
That way you can get the text file and stuff like that. But I can talk about that in another video if you guys are really interested in it or if you're running into any problems with that, maybe I'll make a follow-up video. But if you guys have any questions about this in general, let me know in the comment section below. Be sure to go ahead and follow me on my networks, which you can find inside the video description below. And I'll see you guys in a future video. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.